I think you should be using this no matter what. It's how do you get familiar with the system so that one, you can help make this farm work or how can you just play around between G'day everybody, Sam Marwood here from Cultivate Farms and we interview great people in the agriculture industry who want to save farmers time uh, and do great things to make sure you as a farmer are profitable. And that is what we're doing today. And uh, I have the pleasure of interviewing Mike Krause, who's the founder of P2P Agri. Mike, how are you going? Thank you for joining G'day, us. G'day Sam, lovely to see you. I'm going really well. And now I'm going to have a spiel here, mate. And, uh, I may have things wrong, so you need to correct me and I'll give you time to, but I'll run through just so people know who you are and what you've done and why we're pumped to be working with you, um, but also doing this interview. So P2P Agri, so it's a platform we'll be using in Cultivator. And if you haven't heard about Cultivator, jump on Facebook, every second post is about Cultivator. It's, we think it's a world first farmer investment incubator. No one's corrected us yet, so we'll go with that. Uh, we're incubating 10 farmers over a six month period and one farmer is going to be matched with an investor. It's for Victorian and New South Wales farmers only, unfortunately. So get jealous if you're from other states and let's get a program going there. But we've got Mike on board as one of our mentors to help you pull together a five year financial model. That's one of the outputs. You get a pitch as well, a five year financial model. And that's all going to be done through P2P Agri, which you'll have online and be able to use forever in different ways and, and cut and paste. And, and run your farm. So that's why we're pumped. It's not just an Excel spreadsheet uh, that'll be there static. You'll be able to live and breathe this through P2P Agri. And what I want to do today is go through uh, P2P Agri itself, the, the system, but also unpack who Mike is uh, and why we're excited to be working with him because he's a legend in the industry. Uh, he's worked in, for farmers for many years in government. He's even been uh, in banking and insurance. Uh, and he's built P2P Agri software to help farmers manage their business. And this is their mission, is to help uh, farm businesses be profitable and sustainable into the future. That is everything we want for our farmers. So that's why, again, we're excited. So also, Mike's written this thing. Um, and for people listening, I'm holding up a book. It's called The Farming the Business Sowing for Your Future with GRDC. You can download this. Look at me. I can put a bit of effort into this. There's a few pages uh, and we'll be using this book as well through the Cultivator program, but it talks about how you go about running your farm business. You can uh, buy it for $10 and get a hard copy from the GRDC website. I'll put a link up. Um, so I'm pumped, Mike. Thank you so much. What, let's just start from, from the start. Uh, what is P2P Agri? Well, P2P Agri is a cloud-based platform, Sam. We're really excited about that. We've designed to help farmers both monitor their rural business as well as project forward and do the what-if type questions. So they can assess buying land, leasing land, taking the sheep out, putting more cropping in, having a drought, having a good season. What's it all look like on paper? Because once you've analysed it on paper, it's very likely that's what the outcome will be in the business itself. We've been running this methodology for over 20 years and, and I've run it past over 200 farmers in my consulting life and it's proven to be really effective in helping them both make decisions effectively but also test those decisions before they commit time and money to, to changes in their business. How good is that? I keep thinking even starting a business but running a farm 20 years ago how would you have predicted five years ahead and at the input on pieces of paper, I think they're called, and a pen, I think you have to use? Like, that sounds terrible. And like, uh, really I, I used to use Excel a lot, Sam, and I guess that's the reason I've gone to the cloud because Excel is a wonderful product, but you can get lost in it and it, you can make mistakes easily and it's really time consuming. Um, but back in the early day, I used to use Excel to do forward projections five years, six years. And I remember this really gnarly uh, citrus grower. He said, look, I've just taken over from Dad. I want you to project forward where I'm going to be in five years, given all the plantings that are in place. And I, he rang me back six years later, and I was a bit fearful. And I thought, oh, he's going to balls me up because he calls a spade a shovel, this guy. And he said, look, I couldn't believe it, Mike. You got so close, it's not funny. We're actually at that financial position that you projected us to be. 
So I thought, okay, that's where I became a believer. I thought, no, this theory does work. <laughs> so, so is that why you started? Like, were you fed up with Excel spreadsheets? Um, what's your, what was the process? Yeah, look, the process was um, initially we actually um, wrote the platform using Visual Basic, which is the language of Excel. So we stripped away all the toolbars and wrote it with menu buttons and things like that. And um, that was really our prototype. And it meant that farmers didn't have to know Excel to start to do this stuff. Uh, we trained over 600 farmers and advisors to use this original platform. And then what happened was, well, Microsoft released new versions of Excel and it gave us bugs and we just got, we thought, no, nah, we've got to live the life in the cloud because it actually gives a whole lot more freedom to do things more simply. And as I'll show you a little bit later what the platform looks like, it's a lot more user friendly. So I know a lot of farmers and a lot of advisors use Excel. And look, I'm not saying I use it, it's fantastic, but in its place. But I know particularly advisors have come back to me using this new platform saying we've saved 70% of the time needed to analyse farm businesses and make these sort of decisions. And I thought, well, that's great efficiencies. Um, and so we we believed it had a future, so that's why we've released it commercially. Well, thanks, mate. Thanks for all the effort and the background wizardry you've put together. Uh, you're going to help a lot of farmers. Uh, now, I've given you a prepared answer for this question, um, if you need to read it out. What intrigues you about Cultivate Farms? Why, why are you working with us? Oh, look, I think it's fantastic. Um, just the principle of getting young farmers established in agriculture. It is really hard these days that if you don't inherit it and you don't marry it, how do you get into agriculture? And there's two things I think Cultivate Farms bring to participants. One is that it'll bring a business type of thinking because we've got to put this idea together or participants' ideas together and pitch it to investors and they'll want to know, is this a viable thing that I'm putting my money in? Um, what sort of return am I going to get with this? What are the risks that I'll be as an investor of investing in a farm? And the second thing I'm really excited about, it's giving young farmers who haven't married it or who haven't inherited it to say, okay, I want to have a go in agriculture. And to me, agriculture is an exciting industry. It's a great industry to be involved in on many facets but getting involved in it for the new younger generation is a bigger challenge now. It's probably the biggest challenge it's ever been. And Cultivate allows, I guess, that, that model to be broken a bit so that it allows young farmers to come into the industry. Mike, that was, you went off script a little bit, but it was perfect. That was great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the book, how did you... Um... How did you get to write this? Why did GRDC get you to do this? Why didn't they get someone else? What, did you, what do you offer? Well, that's a really good question. I'm not sure exactly, Sam, why they might came to me because um, I'm a bit dyslexic, so writing doesn't come naturally. <laughs> but luckily, Lucy, my wife, is a wonderful editress and um, helped put my words together that people can use it. Um, look, I think what happened is that our early version of Planet Profit was relatively popular. And GRDC said, okay, who do we get to write a book on farm business management? And they came to me and I tell you, writing a book, it, you pull your hair out. So lucky I'm not, I've gone grey on it. I haven't actually lost hair. But the book has actually been written so that farmers can read it and it's easily accessible. It's, um, it's now in its third printing, which means there's a lot out there and a number of farmers have copies of it. It's in undergraduate, some of the universities in Australia and TAFEs use it. And the, it's not just a physical book like you held up. You can also get it on iTunes as an e-book. And in that, if you've got a Mac or an iPad you download it to, there's little videos. So some people like learning by reading. Some people like learning by doing. Some people like learning by hearing. So it covers a multitude of learning styles, I guess. And the third way, you can go to GADC website and download PDF copies of each chapter. So, anyway. Really, and, and basically, you've, it's P2P agri system in, in a paper form or PDF form. Yeah, I, I, I term it as it's the textbook for our platform. Yeah. It's not the manual. It doesn't show you how to use the platform. 
But if you want to know the definition of a gross margin or a cash flow or some of the bank ratios that are used, like interest cover, you can go to the book and read up on that and do a lot more research and educate yourself effectively yeah, everyone, uh, as we go through absolutely. using the platform. Cool. Uh, great. Great, Mike. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Everyone should get up there and, and just download it and, and or, or order it. Um, so with Cultivator, Mike, we've been scheming this for 12 months at least. Um, and finally, we've put it all together. But what's, uh, what, are, what are we scheming? What are we, how are you going to get involved? What are you, what's your um, vision for how you're going to help these farmers? Okay. What we're going to do, Sam, is we're going to give them access to the platform. So each participant will have access to the platform. That means they can build their ideas of what their business is going to look like and build forward projections of cash flow and profit and loss and balance sheets. Now, if I've used terms here financially that are a bit strange, that's fine because we're going to use it as a bit of an educational opportunity too. So we're going to use that book that you hold up, Farming the Business, as a bit of an educational thing. We're also going to use Zoom. So actually Sam and I are talking through a platform called Zoom where he's recording this to go out. And we're going to use Zoom as both a group learning experience and also one-on-one -on -one experience. So I'll have different sessions and I'll set homework for participants to do between one session and the next session. So it's a bit of a learning thing up front. Then they'll go away, do their preparation for what their idea is going to look like and put their pitches together and they can present those results back to me and I can go one-on-one -on -one in Zoom with them to perhaps provide um, some advice as to what looks good and what could be improved and, and that sort of thing. That's great. And so you're not going to tell them how many cattle they have or how many uh, rows of salary. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be saying, here's the system and you figure that out and I'll, I'll tell you if you're, you're using it correctly. Yeah, exactly. And um, if they decide, look, we're going to change from 10 cattle to 100 cattle, they can look at the economic difference of that business straight away. And then we'll talk about issues like, okay, how are you going to fund this? Is the investor going to be the only one putting money into it? Or have you got other people? Or are you going to have to go to a bank to get money and that sort of aspect? So we will talk about a whole raft of business issues, but the platform will be a great, I guess, um, structure to have this learning done and develop the plan through. Uh, I love Cultivator. I get more excited every time we talk about it, Mike. So everyone should sign up. If you haven't signed up, uh, places are going fast. Uh, if you're not going to sign up, you should get onto P2B Agri anyway. So Mike, let's um, click some buttons and can you just run us through just the high level, um, show people how, how it all works at a high level at the very least, and then um, they can get on and watch those videos or, or give you a call. Sure, no worries, Sam. So what I'm showing you now is if you're logged in to P2P Agri platform and you've got your business already up there, this is the first screen you'll see. So I'll just show you, you can draw um, an outline of your farm using Google Maps and put paddocks in if you wish. You don't have to, but it's quite tactical and useful to, especially if you're communicating with partners and with investors, they get a greater feel of, how the business looks like. On the left hand side is the menu button. So this will be part of the training, but the idea is that we start to plan what the first season looks like, what um, paddocks might be coming in and, and what paddocks we're managing and putting the names of the paddocks and the areas of the paddocks in and then saying, well, what are we gonna do with these paddocks? Are we putting in wheat and barley or is it pasture or is it, we're gonna, put grapes in or citrus or those sort of ideas. Um, so on the left hand side is the menu bar and on the top you can see me running my mouse through and it's, it's what we call the, the um, timeline where you can put data in years coming up. So any years that have got black, you can click into those years and fine tune what you think you might be doing in those years, especially if you're say developing a, a livestock enterprise and you want to build numbers up you know how many sheep are we keeping back to build them up and those sort of stuff so that's a timeline and the final really neat thing is that you might find you're a part of the platform now I'm going to be here to help support you but you might not get access to me all the time and you can click the help button and it sidles up and it allows you to get more text on what might help you to do it um, if I head back into the dashboard area and you might be 
drawing your paddocks, for example. You might say, well, how do I draw my paddocks? I hit the help button and there's little videos that come up that you can click on. So it might be me for two minutes saying, this is how you draw your paddock or you want to know what your dashboard looks like. So you put your data in for the first year and you want to say, okay, what, what does net profit really mean? What does the total assets of the business or the liabilities, the debts of the business, or what's the monthly cash flow looking? So in the dashboard, you get a bit of a, a overview view of this and you get different gauges. If you want definitions of how those gauges work, you can click on that little video and it'll give me, I'll be talking to you as to what equity means and net worth means and those sort of things. So there's quite a lot of onboard help in the platform set. It's amazing. And you spit out cash flows. And um, what are some of the reports you can do? Well, we can go into the cash flow and um, <clears throat> we can sit and develop the cash flow. We can do plan to actual, but obviously participants will be doing plan cash flows initially. We can provide reports on those, even download CSV files so you can dump them into um, Excel. Uh, the, one of the beauties of the platform is we can project forward up to five years and I know your participants will be encouraged to do that. But there's also an element which is a first really in the world is that we've developed a scenario analysis which is a bit like having a flight simulator for your farm, you know. They train pilots and flight simulators to help manage the risk of flight. And we have now have less um, plane crashes. The same thing we've developed in the platform is that we've allowed us to look at the what ifs. And so what happens if we buy land and have a drought? So I just wanted to show you this. This is a, a demo which anyone can log in to our platform and freely create a, um, a login profile and have a look at the demo. But this is this blue line was the farm that I've modelled in the demo, showing you in 2020 if we're in a drought, what cash losses we might incur. But then if 2021 is a good year, how the cash improves. And the light grey line was me having a look at adding another 325 hectares to this business. If we did that and we had a drought, what was the worst case scenario? So we could see what happens to the annual cash position, we can see what happens to the cumulative cash position, and more importantly, we can see what happens to the efficiency of the business. So what happens to profits if we buy the land and have a drought, but then we follow it with a good year. So we can see profits improve in a good year. Yes, in a poor year, there's a drought. So we can get an idea of the change in risk profile of the business, and therefore look at the risk appetite of the investor and the farmer as to whether this is a good strategy to do. And then if we go and talk to the bankers, we can say, okay, this is where the equity of the business will fall. If we buy the new land and have a drought, is this position still okay with the risk profile of lending at the bank? So we can pull bankers into this discussion and we can pull accountants into this discussion. But the beauty is that we can have, and it's part of the training, I guess, uh, cultivate people will have is I'll train them how to do the scenario analysis and do what if so they're continuing to fine tune how they're going to present to the investor. I can see how you said that advisor was saying they're saving time in pulling all this analysis together. That's so powerful, Mike. It's um, oh. amazing. And, and I think from it, I think about the investor, for them to know that the farmer's done this amount of analysis is very impressive. Um, you know, you're still guessing in some ways, but at least you're putting some numbers to that. And um, Yeah, you're putting some science yeah. behind it, Sam, yeah. and you're putting some rigour behind it rather than yeah. just getting darts and throwing at a dartboard. Yep. Um, and that's be part of what the training is. And look, I've had advisors using this platform helping to save thousands of dollars for their farmer clients just because the banks are impressed that the risk is being managed better than what they participate, what they anticipated. Uh, yep, that's why I'm excited, Mike, to have you uh, on board with the Cultivator program and, and I think uh, forever as we go forward with Cultivate Farms. But um, any other um, whiz bangetry um, to really convince someone who is on the edge around whether they should sign up to Cultivator or even sign up with you guys? Um, uh, yeah, look, and I, I guess you, you'll give the URL out, Sam, yeah. but uh, I'll just... Uh, 
now show you what the website looks like and for anyone coming on our website have a look around there's a little videos of me talking about different elements of it and if you're looking and if you want to go and grab a demo just click on the green demo button it'll lead you through a login process and you can just look through as I've looked through can't change anything but you can see what the output looks like and view some of the training videos Brilliant. Thank you. That's great, Mike. And, and from a farmer's point of view, like independent this cultivator program, I keep thinking if I was an aspiring farmer and I was a farm manager or I didn't have a farm uh, or I, was, um, uh, I had a lease block, I think you should be using this no matter what. It's how do you get familiar with the system so that one, you can help make this farm work or how can you just play around between uh, when you're not, not at work and figure out the finances and get yourself savvy on, on numbers so you're becoming a better farmer. There just seems so many ways you could use this, whether you have a farm, you manage it, or, or, or don't have any farm at all. Yeah, look, that in, in the farmer's area, you can see some pricing. There's different levels of the software, depending on what the need of the farmer is. But that little green orange button says buy, so that shows you how to set the thing up and, and do the purchasing. But the other thing is that what we do is, uh, in P2P Agri, we offer farmers and advisors just about unlimited support. So to help them through, I've, um, I've found actually probably three one-hour sessions with farmers over a period of time, it might be two weeks, where I'll go over the platform, set them a bit of homework on their farm, so they go away, put their numbers in, I come back, review it with them, show them a new part of the platform, they go away, do some more homework, come back, and by the end of the third session, they're feeling quite comfortable with it. So. That's part of the service that comes with the, the platform. Mike, this is amazing. Uh, mate, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you for your time now and thank you for your time with the Cultivator Program. But also, yeah, we'll, we'll keep working with each other ongoing and we'll encourage all our aspiring farmers and retiring farmers or any farmer, jump on this platform and, and use it and, um, and save yourself time and stress and, and uh, yeah, keep, keep being a profitable farmer. But... Mike, thank you. I'm looking forward to unveiling you in 2020 and um, get these 10 farmers cranky. But thanks, mate, and we'll speak very soon. Excellent, Sam. Great working with you guys and all the best to those people out there considering to go into Cultivate. Look, I'd really encourage you to do it. Even if you don't get an investor, it'll be a great learning experience. And I myself went through a startup experience about five years ago and I just found that really invigorating and, and quite useful for my learning for my business anyway. So go for it. Agree. Thanks, Mike. Speak soon. Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for your attention and for watching this video. Click here or here or somewhere uh, to watch more of our videos. Uh, if you're new here, please do subscribe. We want more of your attention. We want to get you inspired uh, to get onto your farm. Let's get you farming.